Duodecim Scripta. At the beginning of the game, the board is empty, and the two players keep their counters on their side. The aim of the game is to bring all your counters off the board. The two players follow paths that are slightly different. They start on two opposite sides of the central line, and after six cases, they enter the numbered line. The match starts on the two sides of the central line, where the players don't cross each other's path. This allows them to enter all their pieces on the board and place them cunningly in anticipation of the upcoming fight. Indeed, on space number one, the two players will start to compete. As a matter of fact, are you able to read Roman numerals? The drawings in the middle of the board are merely decorative and do not represent a space. They have been drawn here because the Romans put decorations like this on their boards. The players throw the dice alternately and decide if they want to sum them up and move one counter, or if to keep the scores split, moving two counters. Entering new pieces on the board holds priority above moving pieces already on the board. When a piece finishes its half of the central line, it enters the numbered line starting from number 1. Multiple pieces of the same color are allowed on each space. When a piece ends its move on a space occupied by a single enemy piece, the latter is eliminated and must restart the race from its very beginning. If a space is occupied by two or more pieces of the same color, the enemy cannot enter it and they must choose another counter to move. My suggestion? Never leave a piece alone on a numbered case. Enjoy the match!